Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Now, if you've been watching me, and hopefully you have, about three, four weeks ago, I put, did a video saying you all need to go to Target and on this day at this time they're doing a huge luxury dress collaboration with these three different stylists make sure you get these dresses this is the one that i like this is the one i prefer and i made all those recommendations and i know a lot of youtubers made videos designing or styling the dresses and just showing you what they look like discussing the dresses and what the fabrics were and what have you um, I kind of wanted to wait a little while and integrate that video into a video on how to style maxi dresses for spring and summer which included mostly included those dresses and the dress I currently have on so if you're interested in watching me style those dresses that I purchased from that collaboration stay tuned now let's get started Now this dress is my outfit of the day. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this dress before. I purchased this from Fashion Nova a year, two years ago, and I did go look. I could not find it anywhere on the site. But this dress is also gonna be a part of the video today. So you can see the back in my microphone box. Um, I really, really like the ease of this dress. It's cotton, it's just easy breezy, and it actually has cute little pockets, and it has empire waist. What, what I like about this, that it's a solid color. Now, if you have a maxi dress that's a solid color, you can play it safe, and you can do neutral accessories, like I have on these kind of neutral shoes here. Um, and if I were gonna go out, I am going out later, but I would pair this with a neutral purse, like hope please maybe something like this this is very very neutral it still looks cute it still looks kind of chic and just it doesn't take away from the dress it's a really really pretty look now for me i would probably kind of elevate this dress or elevate this look you know i like a lot of color so i typically wouldn't go for the so so much of a neutral uh aesthetic with this i would add pops of color and i have two ideas for that um, and I'll show you in a second. One is not necessarily a pop of color, but it's a pattern. So when you have a solid colored dress, the best thing you can do is add a, another pop of color or add some pattern, because you can go with anything with this. You can go uh, snake skin, zebra print, just what have you, or you can just go with a complete different color, some color blocking. But I'm gonna show you two looks that I would do with this particular dress. Hold please. So this is look number one, and the difference between this outfit and the first outfit is the pattern on the shoes. Now this is really, really cute. Black and white polka dot. These are Gianni Beanie shoes. I've had these for several years now. And I paired it with this white purse that I picked up from, bucket purse I picked up from Zara uh, probably a year or so ago. So it, it works really, really well with this dress because the dress is a solid color. It's just a little bit of pattern peeping out when you walk. It's just gonna show the heel and the front of the shoe. Just pretty still safe, but I do like this as well. But my favorite look that I think I would typically wear with this dress, especially if I wasn't, um, didn't want to dress it up. I kind of want to dress it down, just be very, very comfortable. Ultimately, just, just me, I'm running out, I'm running errands, or I am just want to just go hang out. This is what I would wear. Okay, so this is what I would probably wear, especially if I was on vacation, or if I knew I was out, I was gonna be out shopping all day long, and I wanted to be comfortable, something I can get on and off very easily, trying on clothes, but I wanna be walking for, I'm going to be walking for extended periods of time and I wanna be comfortable. And normally you wouldn't think to put this red bag with this turquoise dress, but it works. Look at this, the color combination is beautiful. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> Look at my shoes. Wait a minute, did y'all see what the back up say? Angela Michelle, these are custom vans. <laughs> I got some for me, got some for, Production too. Come here, honey, let me see yours. Come here. Look at his. He's ex-military, so I've got his. Wait a minute now. Don't be trying to steal my shine. Don't do that. Don't do that. What? Don't, don't, don't do that. I will co cover you all the way up. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He's ex-military, so I got his in camouflage, and I got the same heel on both of them. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. But look, I love this. I had, I didn't have any, I think I had some red heels, but I didn't have any solid red sneakers. 
There are reasonably priced. I think I might have paid hundred dollars for these vans to have them. I think they're normally around seventy or eighty, and then to have them customized, it's an extra twenty dollars, I think. But the combination of this red and this turquoise, this purse is really cute. It's easy. It's um, I think they call this what do they call this? The makeup things, the makeup carrier. It's, it's a term I can't remember what it is for this type of bag. It's a coach purse and just kind of snaps open and has the inside like this has a magnetic closure and this um, strap here goes on and off but this is really easy it fits my phone it fits my mini wallet and anything else that I would need my keys my eyeglasses and these sneakers are gonna be comfortable I can walk and walk and walk and not have to worry about it and the pop of color this red and this turquoise is just everything and this is just me cute comfortable and just colorful now, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you're not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes created by creative for creative people. The classes are numerous. They have various topics such as sewing, sign language, music, uh, photography. The classes are curated specifically for learners so there's no ads and the company consistently uploads premium classes. I'm currently taking the class under photography for Lightroom. So most of you don't know, all of the pictures, and I do mean all of them, <laughs> all of them are edited through Lightroom. We use Lightroom to download all of our photos into them. And then I take them out of Lightroom after I've cropped them and, and edited the colors and what have you. And I use another app before they're uploaded to YouTube or Instagram. Well, you know, I'm a novice at this, so I saw this on the photography and I was like, oh, okay, let, of course there's gonna be something I can learn because you know, I'm not tech savvy whatsoever. So I'm currently looking at this Lightroom class um, that's being presented by Dale Mac, Mac Manus. It's a 45 minute class broken down into like five, six minute sessions. And I've already learned a lot about tinting and coloring and highlighting and using the different exposure levels to adjust the exposure for my pictures because sometimes the camera has a ha, has a difficulty picking up on my chocolate and and balancing that with the sunshine so i'm learning a lot from this lightroom class i'm really really liking it as well so you know so if you let me know if you see my pictures they're getting better you'll know exactly why now all of the classes are very convenient you just Go on and you take the classes at your convenience. You can stop and start whenever you want to. Most of them are an hour or less. And the teachers have mini projects sometimes and it's very interactive. You can upload your little mini project and you can see what everyone else in the class is working on. And they'll give you feedback as well. Now, if you're interested, the first 1,000 subscribers who click on the link below will get a free trial membership of Skillshare Premium. These are the premium classes. They do have free classes, but these are the extensive premium classes and they're amazing. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you click that link. Okay, so this is the first dress in the collection that I purchased and this is from Christopher Rogers. You all know I love color, so hey, all this color. So my way of styling this was to pull out one of the colors in the dress and that is green. I didn't really want to put, to put a lot of additional prints on top of this because this is a lot going on and I didn't want the prints to clash even though you can stack prints but this one I just wasn't feeling the stacking so I pulled out the green I have on my uh, green ASIC sneakers and this little green purse from Tory Burch that I've had for quite some time this dress is very comfortable it has really nice pockets this is a lot of dress now remember when you have a dress like this what I really really like about it is it buttons all the way down the front so not only does this work as a dress this works as a cardigan so if you just want to put on some leggings or some shorts and a tank top and just throw this on top if you're feeling a little bit overexposed this just kind of gives you just that level of comfort you can walk around in and because I'm short and because it's hot right now I didn't button it all up the front you really can't tell but if I start walking you can see there's it there's that leg right there. You get a little bit of leg walking. And it's really, 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 uh, let me see. see if you can get it. There you go, okay. You won't come through. But it is a, it's a lot of dress. It is a lot of dress. It's very colorful, it's very vibrant. I really, really like it. I don't know what the material is. 
it's a strange, it feels like a combination of cotton and whatever it is they make umbrellas out of. But there's a little swish to it. It's very comfortable, it's very light. It was uh, not difficult to iron, but it was a lot of fabric to iron because what you will not see is me on here with wrinkled clothes on that. I'm from that generation. We don't wear wrinkled clothes out the house or ever. I even iron my t-shirts, but I really like this. So this is how I would style this dress. Now I'm going to show you how it would look with a pair of shorts and a tank top in case you just want to wear it as a cardigan. Just a little something different to style it differently. Ready? My hair. Got messed up a little oh, bit. Lady, come on. You don't talk to the talk to the talent like that. <laughs> Trade in the talent. <laughs> this, this talent is irreplaceable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, see, this is how you can style this as a cute, cute pop of many colors. Cardigan, just grab your pair. Denim jeans, a white t-shirt, tank top, and some, some white sneakers or what have you. This is very, very comfortable. I would wear this to like, if I were going to the movies, because it's always cold in the movies, but you know, if it's 100 degrees outside, you don't want to put on some pants, so I would put on shorts and a tank top, and just take this as an added layer that I can take on or take off when I get in and out the car. It gives it color, it gives it a sense of flair. This is really, Really cute, right? What y'all think? These are some old fashioned over jeans I cut off because they were, they were extremely distressed. But you know, waste not, won't not. We gonna repurpose stuff around here if we can. But yeah. Okay, so this is the second dress from the Target collection. And I think maybe my favorite because in my opinion, this one is the most versatile. I was really concerned because I'm five, three and a half. I thought this dress would probably sweep the floor, but what it, it does not. And my idea of kind of elevating this dress or dressing up was to pull a color from the dress in my shoes. So luckily I had these shoes by Vince Camuno. They're no longer available, um, but it's a perfect match for that uh, green, yellow kind of color, chartreuse color in the dress. And why I, I think this dress is very versatile because of the colors, because the colors are very dark. Even though it, there's a mixture of colors, the colors are kind of dark, even though it has the chartreuse in it. So I feel like this dress is great for now. It's gonna be really, really good for um, fall. And this dress will take you into winter and I'll show you that later. But I really, really like this dress. It is, that's my microphone there it is really pretty I love the detail here in the sleeves it has a little umpire waist and of course like all of the dresses it has pockets and it has a zipper on the side for you to make it easier to get into now I do have a pair of black shoes like this so if you didn't want to do say something very colorful as far as these shoes because I don't have a matching purse I would just pair my black Louis Vuitton purse with this. You could wear this with a pair of black shoes and then, or a pair of black strappy sandals, which I have down there, some J. Crew sandals. And I would pair this with my black purse. Or if you didn't have, if you don't have a leather purse, if you have a wicker type purse like this one, I've had for quite some time. This is this one is from Doom. It's, it's a straw purse, even though it's black, so it gives a summery vibe. I think this will look really, really cute with this dress. Now, I know it is hot outside and it's not winter, but this is why I love this dress, I think, the most for versatility. See, when winter comes or fall comes, you can throw on a nice, this is a faux leather jacket, a faux leather jacket or a leather jacket and put on some boots or some booties. These are thigh high boots. These are really high boots. I think this is gonna look amazing this winter for just a little color. Keeps you away from the camels and the blacks and the browns of winter. This adds some color and it's still dark. It still has a little chartreuse in it and it's really, really pretty. I think this is gonna look great. And I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this. Sometimes this summer, but more so probably in the fall and definitely in the winter. And let me take this jacket off cause it's hot. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> Now this is my third dress in the collection. Again, I only purchased four. This dress is by Alexis 
And honestly, I wish I had gotten another one. I think they had a blue one. It looked kind of like a uniform dress. It wasn't, the sh cut was exactly the same. It was just a, a, a shade of blue that just, I don't know, I really wasn't comfortable with it, but I wish I'd had. I love this dress. Now, if you ever hear me talk about a fit and flare, this is what I'm talking about. The dress is fitted here and flares out. So if you have, Fit and flare actually looks great on everyone. If you're pear shaped, it kind of gives you a little hip action. It draws your eyes down. If you have an athletic kind of frame like myself, where I don't, I don't have a lot of hip or behind, unfortunately, it kind of gives me a little, ha! Ah, look back there. <laughs> and it gives me some hips. And even if you are uh, hourglass shaped, it really looks good on because it snatches your waist even even more so and it just kind of glass across your hips so a fit and flare looks great on everyone so this is how I styled it I pulled out the black in the dress and this belt should go down a little bit further but I have my microphone on back I pulled out the black from the dress and paired it with these Jeffrey Campbell sandals and it works really really well because the sandals are very very dainty the straps are very thin I purchased these I think from um, Nordstrom's last year around this time last year so I'll look and see if they still have them if they're still available but they're very, very cute and very, very comfortable. You've seen this uh, shrimps inspired bag before. I purchased this at Amazon. They always sell out of the black. I'll look and see if they have it. If they do, I'll put it in the description box, but most of the time they're out of the black. And I paired it with my uh, matte black Valentino belt. I love this belt. I looked for a matte black belt for a long time because you can wear this with any, with silver or gold hard with, because it doesn't have any silver or gold on it. It goes with everything. But I really, really like this dress. Now, I like the pattern in this dress and everything. I thought that this would probably look great with another pattern, some pattern accessories. So let me show you the second look that I chose for this particular dress. So this is the second look for this dress. I love this look. I know these patterns have nothing to do with each other, but I really, really think it works. I paired this with my Mara Hoffman belt and I purchased this cute little purse from Mango a few days ago. I think it was on sale for like $20. They look like they came from the same company, don't they? This is not a uh, real this is but i paired it with some very very neutral shoes like they're almost invisible they're just not their shoes because i wanted the focus of this outfit to be the dress and the belt this is very dressy the heels are high but you know they're not the statement piece here but i like this dress i think this would be very very cute to go out and to eat for dinner or even i would wear this to church but i think this is really cute i love the combination of these two prints there have nothing again to do in common, but they both have black in them. The belt has black in it, the dress has black in it, and I, I really, really think it works. The belt is a lot lighter than the print in the dress, and it kind of draws your eyes here, which makes my waist look smaller, makes it look like I have some hips, so of course I love it. But yeah, this dress has pockets as well. And don't forget, this dress also has buttons all the way down. It can unbutton. So I think this would look beautiful with like some black leggings, a black tank top, some black slides or some black sandals or something. Just as, again, as a cardigan. Don't forget you wear it's a cardigan. But yeah, this is the second look for this particular dress. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is the final dress that I chose in the collection. As you can see here, I've paired it with a fuchsia pink uh, purse by MCM. I think this is really cute. And because the dress is solid colors, I paired it with some print. These, again, these polka dot shoes from uh, Gianni Beanie. <laughs> Forget um, the company. Now, if I wanted to dress this down a little bit, I would pair this with some white sandals. I do have white sandals, but I don't think they look good with this particular dress. But I would wear this with some white sandals, probably pull the sleeves up, unbutton, pull the sleeves up, and just wear it for a more casual look. Or I could wear this with some white sneakers as well for a more casual look and my white 
bucket purse, that would be cute as well. But I chose these polka dot shoes. This is a more elevated look. And luckily I had a purse that matched. If I did not have this purse, I would probably pair it with a white bag. Not necessarily a black bag. It'd just be too dark for these beautiful bright pinks on each side. I think during the collection, this is a dress that probably sold out first. It's very, very similar to the style dresses, which uh, they have probably seven or eight dresses. Most of them are sweater dresses that are two-tone like this, and those sell out really fast as well. But this was the first dress in my uh, cart when, I, when the sale started. But this is how I would style this dress here. And I think it's really cute. What I really don't like is the belt. I probably will disassemble this belt because a belt buckle will turn on the side like this. I don't like that and I don't want to have to keep straightening the belt out. So I probably will take this off and just tie it, tie a little small knot and keep it and wear it like that. It's very fitted. I think it's just very, very feminine and just really, really beautiful. And I love this dress. It's made out of the same material as the other dresses but it's very comfortable it's warm right now so but um it's thin but it's, it feels like a cotton combination kind of fabric but again this is really really pretty very very feminine now if i had probably some solid turquoise or something bright like that shoes i would wear that with this i really wouldn't mix too many other colors but i would definitely do some solid color pattern shoes or pattern accessories. I could even do the, uh, hold on. The snake print belt would look really cute with this as well as the other dress and wear the dress with it. So you can see here, not these shoes, just like with the other dress, if I had this snake print belt on with this dress, I would wear some nude shoes so it wouldn't take away from the combination of the colors and the print. But yes, that is it. Family, I really, really hope you enjoyed this styling video. Well, that's it, family. Please let me know in the comment box whether you like this video and whether you like my ideas for styling the maxi dresses. Again, I love a maxi dress. It is an outfit. It is a complete outfit. All you need to do is grab a purse, grab a pair of shoes, and you're done. You don't have to think about it. But I kind of showed you ways that you can think about how to put it together. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube family, come on, hit that subscribe button below. I would greatly appreciate you coming in. That tells YouTube that you enjoy my content, not just this video. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you have recommendations for future videos or uh, comments about this particular video, you can put it in the description box below. Now, thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me. I really, really honest, Honest to God, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. And I want you to have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.